All right, so in this chapter, chapter nine, lesson four, this is simulations. This is kind of an interesting chapter or a lesson in this chapter. Uh, a little bit weird. You may, even after this video, feel like you might need some additional help. So I really do encourage you to take advantage of the um, video conferences that Mrs. Klein and I are offering. Um, so what you're gonna see in these problems, um, a simulation is an experiment that is designed to model the action of a certain situation. So we're gonna be given some percentages and then we're gonna use those percentages to um, set up some ranges and then analyze a table to see what the results would be. So we're just gonna kind of jump straight into one of the examples here. Um, Eric's Bakery is giving a treat to each customer at a grand opening. Each customer spins a wheel. There's the probability to determine which treat they get. Every customer has an 18% chance of getting a muffin, a 33% chance of getting a cookie, and then a 49% um, chance of getting cake. So uh, while we are looking at this, um, I wanna bring up this drawing tool and okay so looking at this a little bit more carefully i'm still trying to figure out some of these drawing tools here i really think i'm gonna need to um, keep it like this which is not ideal but i think you can still read this okay so um so we've got these three percentages given here of 18 percent and then 33% and 49%. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up ranges. So um, for cake or for muffins, so we'll just put that with an M, is gonna equal that range from one to 18%. Because that's what it says, right? Like 18% of people will receive that. So anybody in this range would get a muffin. And so next we have a cookie, which I maybe shouldn't just abbreviated these. So we'll do CO for cookie, and then we'll do CA here for a cake for the last one. Um, okay, so now the next percentage is gonna start with 18. Now you might say, well, wow, how can 18 be in one place and be here? Well, this is up to 18 and then anything over 18 um, would be here. And so now we have to add 18 and uh, 33 together. So that's going to give me 51. And then we would have here from 51. And if we add 49 onto that, guess what that takes us to? One hundred. So that's how we set up those ranges uh, for that. And now that I have those ranges set up, I need to look at a couple of other things. So I'm going to go ahead and advance um, to the next slide here. I just wanted you to see where those uh, things were coming from. So let's put it back in this mode right here. And if I advance the slide, you'll see. So these are those same ones. Now, kind of bear with me here. This is should actually say 19. Um, here it doesn't it doesn't have that on there, and I think I this is actually um, I think I had my percentages a little bit off there. Um, this would be fifty uh, one, and then from fifty two up to one hundred. So if you come over here and look at the table now, and we have the question, what treat did customer eight get? Well, customer eight had the random number of seven. Well, seven is in between one and eighteen percent, so they would get a muffin. Customer 10 is at 81, which 81 falls in between 52 and 100%, so they would get cake. And we could do that for every single one of these. Customer 1 is at 39%, or 39, which falls in between 1 and 51, so they would get a cookie. Customer 2, 28, that's also in between 1 and 51, so they would get a cookie as well. So that's kind of what you do. You set up these ranges with percentages using the three descriptions to tell you what would then happen in this simulation. These aren't actual results necessarily, they're just you know random numbers that are thrown out there to show what would happen. 
So moving on to example two, it looks a lot the same way. We're given a table. I feel like this one's maybe a little bit harder to understand because it tells us here that each trial has two simulated kicks. And then if we just kind of look at, I should have put this sentence on the previous slide because you really need that. Suppose Manuel scores 51% of his kicks. So just keep that in mind that anything over 51% uh, he's making. So if you think about these, so that means, and if I exit out of this and put it back in, so anything from 1 to 51 is a score. So we'll just do show that with a plus. And then that would mean from 52 then to 100 would be a miss. Be a miss. I don't know if I show that. Show that with a minus. Show it with a down arrow. I don't know. You could show it in a couple different ways. So if we look here, like those are both um, going to be misses, right? Anything up here is a miss. 95 and 79 are both over that. These two were both makes. Here he's got a miss followed by a make because that's in 33 is in between 1 and 51. So that's where those numbers are coming from. So if I move on to this next slide that I kind of briefly showed here, you see these, um, what is the outcome of trial seven? So if you come down here to trial seven, 72 and 94, those are both over that 51%. And we know from one to 51 is whenever he makes it. So 52 to 100. So trial seven is, um, are both misses because they are both over 51. And then trial two, we have 32 and 51, and all the way up to 51 are considered your makes. So these are both yeses. He made both of these. So trial seven, he missed both. Trial two, he made both. Like I said, kind of weird because these numbers are not representing like a number of points that are scored. They're representing a percentage that then corresponds to how we plug it in to see whether it's a yes or no. I want to take a minute and look at the assignment here for a second. Uh, and hopefully that will kind of help you here. So I'm going to help you kind of get the first one set up. Uh, so it tells us, maybe I should scroll down here a little bit first. Uh, so we've got this simulation about a carnival game. And it gives you this key information here of 28% are going to get cotton candy. 53% are going to get a shirt. And then 19% are going to get um, a keychain. So we've got cotton candy. We've got a shirt and we've got a keychain. And it says 28%. So that would be from 1 to 28. And I really do encourage you to do this on a separate sheet of paper when you get to this assignment. Uh, and then that would mean from 28, because we have to start at the percent we left off with, up to adding 53 onto this, which would be 81, are going to get shirts. And then from 81 with 19 added onto it, takes us all the way up to 100%. So you'll notice that all we have to represent up to 100%. And so we've got that on there like we should have. So now if we look at three, well, three is 68. 68 would fall in which range here? It would fall in this range right here. So they would get a shirt. Winner eight falls at 99, which is in this range. So they are going to get a keychain. And then winner nine is at 25, which is in this range here. So they are going to get a cotton candy. So you're going to see that same thing play out on this entire assignment as I scroll down here. Oop. Not sure what happened to it there. As I scroll down, you'll see that it has tables and percentages listed here. So you're going to use those things to help you out. Uh, hopefully that helps you. And I would take advantage of the video conferencing that Mrs. Klein and I are offering.